When giving an injection of insulin to yourself or to a family member, follow all of the instructions given by your healthcare provider. Here's a demonstration of the steps to take. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Dry your hands with a clean towel or paper towel. Place a syringe and other materials on a clean paper towel. Then choose the injection site. Choose a smooth area of skin away from recent injection sites, moles, scars, rashes, or within two inches of the navel or belly button. Clean the injection site with an alcohol wipe. Open a new bottle of insulin, take off the cap, leave the rubber stopper in place. Wipe the top of the bottle with a clean alcohol swab. Take the cap off the syringe and pull the plunger to fill the syringe with air equal to the amount of insulin you will be giving yourself. Put the needle straight through the rubber stopper, push the air out of the plunger, keep the syringe in the bottle and turn both upside down. Make sure the insulin covers the tip of the needle. Pull the plunger back until you have the proper dosage of your prescription. Make sure to tap out any bubbles, push the air bubbles out with the plunger, then refill the syringe with the proper dosage of insulin. Pull the needle out of the bottle and don't let it touch anything. Lightly pinch the injection site and hold firmly. Insert the needle straight into the skin the way you were shown. Let go of the skin. Push the syringe plunger all the way in with a slow, steady motion. Inject the full dose of insulin. Wait 10 seconds. Remove the needle by pulling it straight out of the flesh. Gently press the injection site with a clean gauze swab or cotton ball. Then properly dispose of the syringe in a sharps container. If you don't have a sharps container, put the needle in an opaque plastic bottle and close it with a cap before throwing it away. Be sure to keep all syringes and medications out of reach of children. If you have any questions, contact your diabetes educator or your healthcare provider.